Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to create binder rings or coils for your digital planners. And we're going to do it in, in PowerPoint. And it's so easy. First step is you just create a new document and go to shapes and we'll use this circle. Hold down shift and then create it. I'm just going to make this bigger so you can see it properly. Okay, now that you have your, your circle, all you have to do is go here and we need to click this no outline because we don't want any outlines on our um, ring here. And then go to shape fill and then gradient and dark variations. Now I'm going to change this color to black, something like this. Okay, and this one should be about here. Okay. All right, maybe that's it. Let's see. Yep. Now that you're satisfied with whatever color you have, just copy this. You can do a command C, a command V, or just hold the Alt or Option key and then drag it there. Go to your shape again and then use this rounded rectangle. And just create a rectangle. And if you see this yellow box over here, just drag it like this pixel. And then just resize this to the size that you want. Probably this size. Okay, then go again. Should be no outline here. And we can drag this over here. Okay, that's about it. Now we need to change the color. Go here and gradient. Move this one linear down. That's right. Make something like a gold or bronze. So maybe this. And this one should be a little bit lighter. Sandwich between two dark ones. Like that. All right. That looks nice. Maybe I'll change the grading. Something like this. Okay. And to make it a little bit realistic, let's put some like something like a shadow. Oh, we need to use this one. Like over here. And we can go here and do a soft edge so it looks more realistic. And we can change the color to white. Then we go again. Try, let's try that. And we can go to um, more fill colors. Change the transparency to about 75 and then hit OK, should do it. And that's just it. Now select everything and hold Option Command G or Alt Command G to group everything and then just resize by holding down the Shift key. Right. Now that you have that, you can now copy and paste. Just hold the Alt key for um, Mac users and Option for Windows. Don't worry about the alignment, we'll change that later. Now highlight everything, like so, and then go to Arrange, and Align, Align Left. Now that will align everything. And see if we have aligned Distribute Vertically. There you go. And there you have it. So if you can see, Let's try to create um, like a notebook thing or pages, something like this. We go to send it to back. Send it to back again. We change the color. Let's try the color. Yep, so there you have it. Something like that. 
and you can create a lot of that um, different colors also. So once you're done, just highlight everything, group it, and then right click on this, and then click on save as picture, and make sure that the save type is PNG, and then just, just click save. And now you'll be able to use this for all your planners, and you can also sell this uh, in your shop. And that's just it. And if you want, you can also make more of this by just changing the colors of the gradient on this middle ones here. And that's it. So there you go. Well, thanks for watching and hanging out with me today. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.